This time we are exploring a true hidden gem. In the middle of the woods we discovered this former manor. You need to look twice to notice signs that this place is truly abandoned. This half-timbered building was constructed over 100 years ago. Even though most of the interior furnishing has been removed by now, it was all the architectural details which fascinated us in particular. And there are no traces of vandalism at all, which delighted us even more. Have you ever wanted to see a hauntingly beautiful abandoned castle? Well, here you go. The glorious days of this manor are over. Only a few remnants are left, which are only partially used today. However, we were interested in the main building. And we were lucky, because during our exploration we were accompanied by lovely weather. On a golden autumn day, we fought our way through the undergrowth somewhere in eastern Germany. Off the beaten track, we were looking for the manor. Mm. Regel Nummer 10, immer als Crew zusammenbleiben. Ich bin einfach in ein übelstes Moor gelaufen. The closer we got, the more remnants from bygone days we discovered. First, we enter the corridor which connects the mansion with an annex from more recent days. Of course, we went into the main building first. The manor house was built in the late 19th century. The squire of the area was a titled painter. After his death, he left the property to his daughter. But after World War II, she was expropriated by the Soviet occupying forces. So it passed into the possessions of the GDR's Agricultural Cooperative. They were using the site for different purposes, especially for events, meetings, and as some kind of vacation home. Today you can still find leftovers from this socialist era. For example, there's a memorial of a communist resistance fighter. After the German reunification, the site went back in private hands. It's said that a community of Earth owns the manor today. In the past, the whole place was even supposed to become a first-class hotel. But nothing ever happened. Unfortunately, most rooms of the manor are empty. Only some items were left behind. Oddly enough, these things were especially personal belongings. A closer look revealed beautiful details you could find everywhere. We spent quite a while looking for them.
When we arrived at the tower, we were making an odd discovery. There were flies everywhere. And what was even stranger, on all of the walls we found inscriptions, engraved names with dates. In the basement, we discovered a similar room. If you look closely, you can see plenty of names. What is connecting all these people with the site? Did they live here once? What do you think? As mentioned earlier in the video, there's an annex right next to the mansion. This one was probably built during the time of the German Democratic Republic. Since we found only a small amount of things left behind in the main building, we were really surprised that we discovered several furnishings in this part of the site. Most of the chambers were single bedrooms from the time when the area was used as a vacation home. This building is a paradise for all the wallpaper lovers out there. How do you like this lovely flower theme? Or maybe a bit more subtle? Or do you prefer another color? Wait, you don't like flowers? Well, how about this one then? Oh, look what we found here. Even more flowers. Great. This manor fell into a deep sleep many years ago. 
And right now, there's no one out there who could awake it from its slumber. And so the last remnants of this former great knight's estate are decaying more and more. We hope you enjoyed this exploration as much as we did. We would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. There are so many places out there we would love to show you. Stay tuned for more episodes like this one.